Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I have a B&B &B for you. No, it's not a bed and breakfast. It is belated and beautiful. This is one from Diamond Art Club. They sent it to me. The mail got in the way, the weather got in the way, all kinds of things got in the way, and this one just got away from me. So my apologies to everybody, but I'm here to show it to you now. It's a Chuck Pinson. I hope you absolutely love it. We're gonna head to the dining room table because this is another big one. So I will see you in a second and I'll show you what I got. See you there. All right, we are back at the painter dining room table for this beautiful but belated first look. <laughs> What did I get? As you can tell from the square emblem on the box and the blue striping, it is a square diamond diamond painting. I got Fly Fishing Legacy by Chuck Pinson. There is the thumbnail. It is a 93 by 70, hence the reason why we are at the dining room table. So let's get into this box and I will show you what we got. I have my trusty scissors here with me so I can get into the box, hopefully. The box is um, an extremely nice holographic box. It's got all kinds of information on here. On the back, it's got tips and tricks, what's included in the kit. It also has a QR code for a coupon code. There are coupon codes on your box, on your canvas, on your inventory, or on, excuse me, on your canvas, on your uh, shipping label, all kinds of places. So do not pay full price for a Diamond Art Club. They don't, they don't want you to. All right, when you open up this kit, you get uh, the canvas that is in a very nice branded, let me turn this around, dust bag. Um, the drills and uh, other things are rolled up into it, but separately you get uh, this nice logbook sticker. Um, I do put it in my logbook, but people also put it um, on their craft room table on the side of the box and do crafty items with it. And it's got all the information uh, in one place um, and it's nice and compact. So um, if you want all the information in one place, you certainly have that here. So. You also get a tool kit. Let's see what Diamond Art Club surprises. Diamond Art Club has put in our tool kit. Hope everyone is having a great, oh, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Did my, did some, okay. I'm, I have a small metal part here. Did something happen? <laughs> oh, okay. I know what happened. So, first off, uh, your kit contents will uh, be the same for the most part, but there will be some differences. First of all, you get a pen and a squishy, but the color of your pen and squishy will differ. You put your squishy on the pen. Uh, everybody notice I got the squishy on the pen this time. Give me points. However, um, my pen got cracked in transit. Um, I don't use, uh, I will not use uh, this pen. I've got my own pens, but for those of you new, Okay, this is a great, another great example of what Diamond Art Club does. Uh, let's say something went wrong with your pen. If you are the original purchaser of a Diamond Art Club canvas, and you will see it when I unroll this canvas, there is a 100% guarantee um, on this canvas. So if anything goes wrong with your kit contents, your canvas, your drills, Diamond Art Club will make it right. I do not think their customer service department sleeps ever, because whenever I, ask a question or have any, they answer immediately. So they will send you, um, if, if I were to say, hey, my pen got broken in transit, they would send you another toolkit. So uh, that would not be a problem at all. But this tip is supposed to go on the tip of this pen. That's the first time that has ever happened. But you know, things happen in transit, things, you know, all kinds of things can happen. But this is a single placer. I'm gonna put this little metal piece in here so it doesn't get lost. This is a single placer. In these kits, you also get multi-placers. You get a seven and a four placer standard in each kit. The multi-placers go on the opposite end of the pen if you want to uh, lay down more than one drill at a time. We will, when we unroll this canvas, see the ratio of confetti versus color blocking. Confetti is when you have a whole lot of different colors in one area and you're constantly having to switch out your colors. You would use more of a single placer in that situation. However, there may be areas with large uh, chunks of color, the same color in a big area. And if you'd like to, you can put more than one drill down to help your painting progress faster. And that's what these multi-placers are for. So in every kit, you get a four and a seven, seven placer. So that is the pin. 
All right, you get a roll of washi tape. This is very appropriate for this canvas. Um, it's got a lot of browns and teals and or teals. What am I saying? Browns and taupes and khakis. Uh, you do get a good bit of it. Washi tape you can put around the perimeter of your diamond painting or you can section off your diamond painting with it. Me, I keep these and I do paper crafts with them. So do whatever you would like with that. You get a bag of baggies for drill storage either before or after you diamond paint. You get a cover minder. Your cover minders will differ. It's like a Cracker Jacks box in this toolkit. You never know what you're gonna get. So there are all kinds of different designs of these co uh, cover minders. The cover minders have two magnets on the back. One is attached, one is detached. When I unroll this painting, there will be a plastic covering on the top of it. You peel that plastic back. You put this cute cover minder on the top so you can look at this cute little shell while you're diamond painting. You slide the detachable magnet underneath your diamond painting. The magnets magnetize together to hold that paper back so it's not flippy flopping around on you. You get a container of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax. This is what you dip your pen into in order to adhere the uh, diamonds to your diamond painting pen. There is a plastic cover on the top and the bottom of these uh, pads of wax. You get two pads of them in this container. Peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen and keep it in the container to keep it from drying out. You get a boat with a funnel. These are nice boats, I love these. Um, this is what you put your drills in um, and there are lines on the bottom so when you shake it, it they write the drills so they're the right side up when you get ready to diamond paint there's a removable stopper uh, to keep in when you've got drills in the tray to keep them from sliding out and there is a funnel uh, to easily put your drills back in your containers when you're done diamond painting you also in square kits because this is a square kit meaning the diamond shape is square in square kits and square kits only you get a pair of diamond art clubs point stabby tweezers keep the sheath on and do not poke your eyeball out they are very nice uh, tweezers branded with diamond art club that is your tool kit so let's get this is a big one guys it really is and I've got it scooted over we had a pre-production meeting before this video Marlon and I always have pre-production meetings to make sure everybody can see everything all right here, so we're not messing with it. Okay, now these canvases are made out of a material called tarpaulin, uh, which uh, helps the canvas to flatten out. I always say these can uh, these canvases are the Cadillacs of canvases. You've got a scalloped and surged or poked edge to help prevent fraying. These are uh, poured glue canvases, meaning the material put down on the top of this canvas to help the drill stick is a poured glue, meaning you can roll this canvas back the opposite way. But because the canvas is made out of tarpaulin, they self-flatten. So if you do not want to roll your canvas back you don't have to I just do it for the sake of time I'm gonna be rolling for I'm trying not I'm speeding it up folks speeding it up folks because this is a big painting okay I'm gonna uh, roll the canvas back and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. Uh, this will help it to flatten out so you can see it a little bit better when I show and when I do the reveal of the canvas I'm gonna let this hang out in my lap I'll explain some other things uh, in the kit, when you unroll your canvas, in the uh, canvas, you get uh, three things. You get an information pamphlet with a thank you from Angie, the, uh, the founder of Diamond Art Club. All kinds of information in this pamphlet, tips and tricks, what's included. Um, it's a good thing to read if you're a new diamond painter. They also have um, a QR code to take you to an instructional video to help you um, if you're a visual person like me. And also the VIP Facebook group. Uh, once you've made a purchase from uh, Diamond Art Club, you can join their VIP Facebook group. It's a great group and uh, they share all kinds of ideas and uh, tips as well. You also get a thank you. Here's another coupon code, thank you 10 in this booklet. And on the back are two QR codes to take you to the uh, Diamond Art Club app. It is, uh, it's a great app. I actually just used it today. They've got uh, the paintings categorized, you know, mystery, fantasy. Um, it's just a, a very nice organized way to see the paintings. I really enjoy the app. Um, if you uh, download the app and make a first purchase through the app, whether you are a new or existing customer, you get 20% off your first purchase, which is very nice. Like I said, coupon codes everywhere. You also get this entire sheet. I call this an inventory sheet. This entire sheet is a sticker sheet. You have the title, Fly Fishing Legacy by Chuck Pinson. You got your start and end date that you can note. Uh, if you want to put this larger section in a logbook, you certainly can. Because the canvas is so big, you have got, uh, it's a horizontal piece uh, mainly. It's absolutely beautiful. 
Um, this would be a great painting for a father-son legacy if you've got fishermen in your family. Um, I spent a lot of, a lot of, I, I did fish when I was little uh, with my dad and my grandfather. I didn't fly fish, but um, if you've got a father-son duo, this would be a beautiful um, commemorative piece for them. Um, in addition, on the sticker sheet, you've got your diamond shape, your dimensions, it's a 93 by 70, and your skew number of the canvas. Over here, you have individually cut stickers that you can peel off and put onto your containers. The first column in pink tells you how many colors in this kit. I'm gonna go down. I know I have 60 colors in this kit. So uh, the center column are your symbols. Your symbols are going to are what you're gonna match these drills up with to lay down on your canvas correctly. And the third column are your DMC codes or DMC numbers. If you look um, at your DMC numbers, they are in numerical order here. Uh, any DMC code under the number 150 is an AB drill. We have two ABs in this kit, 105, which is like a caramel brown, and 112, which is a taupe. So uh, that's going to be really, really pretty. And, um, and a lot of landscapes, you don't want a lot of bling, but you do want some sparkle. AB drills are used where the sun naturally hits, and I'll show you what an AB drill is if you are unfamiliar. Also, just to note, if you come down to the bottom of this, um, of this number list or these stickers, uh, any numbers down here with a letter in front of them denotes a special drill. There are no special drills in this particular kit. And that's fine because again, sometimes it's appropriate, sometimes it's not. Um, Diamond Art Club charts these perfectly. So that is that and your drills. We'll get into those in a bit. Here we go. You ready to see it? I'm ready to see it. Oh, it's big guys. It's real. that's why we're at the dining room table. I wanted you to see the whole thing. It is really big. Keep scooting it down, keep scooting it down. Okay, you have got absolutely amazing fall foliage going on. The leaves are changing and you can tell they're changing because there's still some green trees, mountains in the background. This whole uh, stream is just abs on the, on the complete bottom of this canvas. It, it is absolutely beautiful there. You, I think it's a father and a son duo fly fishing. You've got the fly fishing rod and the line down here. Um, sometimes you have surprise uh, appearances by animals. I don't see any. It looks like they've just dipped their line into this water and they're waiting on a fish. Um, like I said, I've never been fly fishing. There was a movie about fly fishing. If you remember what that movie was about fly fishing, put it in the comments. I was trying to think. I watched a movie a while ago about fly fishing, but um, it's it, really, it's actually a beautiful thing to watch. Um, really skilled fly fishermen do um, the, the cast out of the uh, line on uh, fly fishing. Um, it's amazing. Okay, another thing while you, you're just taking a gander at this beautiful image is this cover paper. Diamond Art Club, um, always, 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 one of the things I love about DAC is they're constantly um, making improvements, taking suggestions from their customers on how to make our diamond painting experience even better. And so what they have done is they have uh, produced a patented plastic cover. Uh, that is gridded. Can they see that gridding? Okay. What I mean by gridding is this cover paper is now perforated. So it is perforated into squares. You can tear off small sections of these squares so that a small area is exposed so you can put your drills down. Um, if you don't want to, I love this too. If you're like, I am not a perforated person. I don't want to mess with tearing those squares. Just let me peel back the cover paper and diamond paint. You can do that too. So uh, Diamond Art Club has left you the option of either doing it the traditional way or if you would like to, um, tearing off your gridded squares and doing it that way. So that is also very nice. But I'm telling you what, this would make an incredible gift um, this would look great in a man's study. It would look great in a game room, um, uh, in somebody's den or man cave. Anybody got men with man caves? This would be one for that for sure. This is absolutely beautiful. I, I just, I love the fall foliage. Um, 
you know, Chuck Pinson is a favorite, favorite artist on Diamond Art Club, and uh, this one definitely does not disappoint. So if you've got anglers in your family, fly fishermen, or just even regular fishermen, um, this would be a great piece as a gift, um, you know, for a Father's Day or, you know, Christmas. I mean, this is a big one for Christmas uh, or, or the like. Um, or birthdays, that kind of thing. So let me flip this beautiful painting over and I'll show you the drills. All right. Okay, your drills do come in a labeled bag. It has the title of the uh, piece, Fly Fishing Legacy, in case you store your drills separately so you can have a happy reunion with your canvas if you store your drills separately, which I do, so, or I did. I've kind of changed up how I store my stuff now. Okay, bear with me, guys. We got a lot of colors in this one. All right, let's just start off with this loose bag. $37.99, a very dark gray. Can we get them in close? All right, is that good? Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay, $37.99, dark gray. Let's roll on. Are we ready for the trains? Here we go. First train to Georgia, 30, uh, 355, 3012. 414, two bags of it, three bags of it. Okay, whoa, do we have, we may have an open bag. Kind of, maybe, we'll see. All right, 839, two bags of it. 972, beautiful yellow. This fall foliage is going to be, okay, where are those drills coming from? Is it coming from this? We may have an open bag, but that is okay. Not, not very many. Two bags of 413, maybe this 413. Okay, 434, two bags of it. 301, two bags of it. 451, 898, lots of nature colors in this one, guys. Two bags of 898. 936, two bags of it, an olive green, and 924, kind of a bluish green. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful with this train because I don't want to lose any, I've, I've, there may be five or six drills here. There might be a little hole in that bag. That is okay. We will figure it out. All right. I'm gonna scoochie these way over here so that I can put them back in the bag when I need to. All right, next train to Georgia. And in pure Kara fashion, it is upside down. All right, ooh, 317. We got four bags of 317. That's a bluish gray. We got 3371, 801, two bags of it, three bags of it. 3776, two bags of it. 3858, 318, two bags of it. 3771. 934, lots of dark nature colors. 935, very close in color, but one is darker than the other. 934 is darker than 935. That is a super, super dark olive green. Uh, two bags of 935. 3011, lots of olive greens in this one. And 6021. All right, we're almost through with the trains. 3011, 3830. 741. These are beautiful. Can you imagine these colors in those fall trees? Ugh, 741. Two bags. 3860. 840. Two bags of it. 3752. 841. Uh, two bags of it. 112. Ding, ding, ding. Ring your first AB bell. I'm going to cut this one out so I can have it handy to show you. And I don't want to cut a hole in the bag. I'm gonna have this one handy to show you when I get ready to uh, share with you where these ABs go. All right, I'm gonna turn it over. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the tops of these drills that capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just make them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, just a little bit more. All right, that's your first AB. We've only got two of them in here, but that is a kind of a rose-colored taupe, pinkish rose, roses. Can I talk tonight? Pinkish roseish taupe. All right, I'm gonna leave that one out. Here we go. 725, 3864, 779, 722, 452, 945, 152. 
Aha, here is our next AB. Both of these ABs are nature colors. I mean, we are smack dab in the middle of nature in this painting. So obviously we're gonna have a lot of nature colors and both of our ABs are going to be in those nature colors. And you can see that coating clear as day on the tops of those drills. That's gonna be beautiful wherever those go. Cannot wait to see. Okay, here we go, medium bags. I don't know that we have any small bags. Hmm. 738, they can see it up close. All right, 3072, 3042, 647, 3856, 3857, 543, 758, 3835, with a 758 that decided it wanted to play with the uh, plum kids. <laughs> 356, 646, 415, 402, 160, 3827, 3041, 3823, 3761, 828, and a little bitty bit of 3819. I love it when there's that much in a bag. I'm like, where are these gonna go? I hope they're all in a group or they're or they're not all sprinkled out by themselves. I guess I think they want might want to play together. All right, let's flip this bad boy over and see where these AB drills go. You, uh, this is gonna be an easy show and tell for me tonight. Um, you've got 105, which is this particular AB drill. That is the symbol one. I'm already seeing it. It's in these rocks right here where, all, where this uh, caramel color is on these rocks. Um, again, AB placement on a canvas would be where light naturally hits or it's gonna be shiny. Well, rocks in water are gonna be shiny. So um, I'm sure that they did this to depict water glinting off of these rocks. So it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, 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 here. I don't see any actually in the water. There's some in these rocks over here. Uh, I don't see any in the fishermen. Are there any in the trees? I'm thinking because of the amount. Um, once again, I'm gonna get up. I don't want to miss any of these ABs. All right, so I showed you the rocks in the water here and here. I don't, uh, there are some ones. I'm glad I came over here. There are some ones in this particular tree, so that's good to know. All right, that appears to be uh, where that one is going to go. Your next AB is going to be the symbol two. It's that 112. It's that really pretty mauvey, um, rosy mauve, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. How I, some of these colors are combinations of each other, and I'm thinking, again, coming around behind Marlon. Um, threes, I see three. I need two. Where is two? Two is in white. Okay, so we've got some. Yep, there's going to be all in these mountains. There are going to be glints off of these mountains where the sun is hitting the mountains. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see if there's twos anywhere else. It all appears to be up here highlighting these mountains. Um, I don't. A little bit in the mountains up here through the trees, a little bit in this corner over here, all appears to be highlighting up here. I don't see any. So you got your ones down here on these rocks in this water and the twos at the top. So you got ABs on opposite ends <laughs> of your canvas. Um, and those are the only two ABs, guys, in this canvas. So um, that was kind of an easy show to tell here. All right, guys, I present to you Fly Fishing Legacy by artist Chuck Pinson. Um, he is a longtime favorite artist um, of a lot of people on Diamond Art Club. Uh, this was released a little bit ago, um, and I, again, I'm sorry for the uh, tardiness of this video, but I wanted to share, share it with you and um, go back and check it out. It is still in stock at uh, Diamond Art Club, and it's a beauty. Uh, that is what I've got for you tonight, guys. I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.